Yeah, this is a message for Ray Comfort. I came to you before about the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, serious matter. Uh, and I hope you're, you're, you're looking at this video. Uh, I have a few people that have looked at it and uh, of course they're coming at me with their nonsense from the Christian church. Uh, but anyways, uh, scripture is the authority, not, uh, not the Babylonian Christian church. You have a wrong, blasphemous, sin gospel. I, I've watched some of your videos on, on YouTube and uh, the way you approach people and uh, uh, rattle off the Ten Commandments. And if you, uh, if you break these when there's no more Ten Commandments, don't you know that the law was done away with, sir? The book of Galatians, the book of Romans, the book of Hebrews tells us there's no more law. Romans 4.15 says, because the law worketh wrath. Why does the law work wrath? Because in this humanity, obviously, this human flesh, we cannot obey the law. Where there is no law, there is no transgression. No law, no sin for no one. That should have been your marching order, sir. 2 Corinthians 5.19, like I mentioned in the other video. Now I'm going to go to, to Romans chapter 4 in the... Uh, verse, uh, well, we'll start in verse 2. For Abra if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. What did Abraham believe, Ray? Abraham believed that the whole world was going to be saved. That's what Abraham believed. Read uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 8. In fact, let's go there. Uh, I was in Romans, uh, but since we're talking about Galatians. Uh, verse 3, or verse 8, chapter 3 in Galatians. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen. That's the person outside who knows nothing about God. Through faith. Through the faith of Christ. Not their faith. The faith of Christ is what saved us. Read further on in, in, uh, in Galatians and uh, also in, uh, in, in the book of Romans preached before the gospel. He preached the gospel to Abraham. What was the gospel? The gospel is simple. Listen, Abraham, I'm going to save the whole world. And Abraham saying in thee, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, seeing in thee shall all nations be blessed. The Christian church does not understand all. Obviously, you don't. You've put restrictions on people. Uh, even believing. We don't have to believe. Read John 12, 47 very carefully. Better that they believe, obviously, and understand the gospel and cleanse their, uh, purge their uh, evil conscience that's, that's, uh, that's accusing them. And along with the, the satan, satanic Christian church that accuses everybody of sin when there is no sin. And these shall all nations be blessed. All. Do you get all? Ray? I'm going back to Romans chapter 4, verse 5. But to him that worketh not. We don't work at anything about our salvation. Not even believing. It was all done before the foundation of the world. Ephesians chapter 1. We were chosen in him. He chose us. Us is the whole world. In him before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him. Every single person on this planet is holy and blameless before God because God did it all through Christ on the cross. You don't understand that. But to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness. 
You must believe that God is justifying the ungodly, everybody out there in the world. That is the gospel, sir. Your, your gospel is a gospel that is blasphemous and is nothing but a sin gospel. And uh, that's all I'm going to share with you today. Thank you.